Okay guys, so continuing on with these Logic 10.4 um, update features. Um, the Studio Horns and the Studio Strings have their own articulations. Let's look at these articulations a little bit now and stuff to do with controlling the notes of strings and uh, the Studio Strings and Studio Horns. Um, so I'll start with the software instrument track. And um, from the library, I'm going to load the Studio Horns not one of the sections, but a single instrument, the studio trumpet. And I've loaded a channel strip preset from the library. So on the channel here for the track, it loads the instrument itself, the horn instrument there, all the effects, and it loads the articulation set for the selected instrument, studio trumpet one. All right, now I'll make another instrument track. And on this, I'm gonna load Studio strings again, not a section. I'm going to load the violins one. And on the channel here for the track, it loads the instrument, the string instrument there, studio strings, the effects, and it loads the articulation set for the studio violins that I selected. All right. So if you load a channel strip preset from the library, the articulation set is loaded, and you see that in the track parameter box at the bottom here, right? is loaded with everything. But if I make now a software instrument track, and instead of loading a channel strip preset from the library, I go to the channel here for the track, and in the instrument slot, I load in raw either the studio horns or strings. Let's go with the studio horns in stereo. It loads the studio horns onto the track in its instrument slot. But there are no effects or anything loaded because I loaded it raw. And it doesn't load the articulation set. You have to do that manually. So if I open the instrument on this track where I installed the instrument raw, it defaults to trumpet one. If I leave it on trumpet one like that, then in the articulation set parameter here, in the track parameter box, I'll set this to studio trumpet one. Then I've got the correct articulation for that chosen brass instrument. Then I just have to retitle the track here Studio Trumpet or whatever I like. Okay, let's get rid of that. So if we load uh, a channel strip preset from the library, it loads the articulation set with it. Okay, let's just focus on the trumpet here, um, the, the brass rather, the horns, right? There's a track, here's a channel, open the instrument. Now, I, I load the preset single instrument studio trumpet, but on the panel here I can click that where it says trumpet one and choose any individual instrument or any section and it will load it into the plugin. I'm going to stick with trumpet one. The uh, articulation here is set to default expressive medium. I'm going to turn auto vibrate down, vibrato down, and turn humanize down. And note dynamics via CC is off. Alright, so now. Whether you load up studio trumpets or studio string, uh, studio horns or studio strings, whether a section or an individual instrument, the smart controls feature these key switches. To make them work, you'd have to switch on MIDI remote, then they work from your master keyboard. Now these work on the fly. They only work as you're playing live from a master keyboard. Okay. Now, some of these are latching, like the ones on this side are latching for basic types of playing. Some of the ones here that do effects, like Fall Short and Mercatos, the, um, these things like Shake and Do It and Scoop, some of them are non-latching. So you, if you press this, it'll do, you know, a little, um, a little doit or a scoop or a shake if you press one of these while you're playing but then it will revert back to what you had before for standard playing, sustain or whatever, right? But these only work on the fly when you press the keys as you play. And if you've got like a two or three keyboard, uh, octave little mini master keyboard, um, and you're playing around, let's say, octave two or three, you can bring up the octave of these switching keys to any octave you want, so they'll sit above or below where you're playing. But to my mind, these are... These do not work on the fly. You can't record in notes into a pattern or pencil in notes, and then as you listen back, switch the expression on the fly to listen to different ideas for different um, articulations for different parts of the playing. It won't work like that. Now, even if you're an experienced keyboard player, 
and you can think of a melody in your head and play it with your right hand say like da, 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 and you don't have to think about that to my mind it would be very difficult to learn these key switches and know remember which is which with your left hand and switch between them correctly to match your playing with your right hand it would be a nightmare but that's all they do so forget these for most people i can't use these they're no use to me right so when it comes to the articulations we have to set them by hand really right so there's a region and remember our instrument we're using single trumpet and dynamics are not via cc and the default articulation is expressive medium let's go into the region and close the library okay um so i pencil in notes or play them in it doesn't matter and i can choose articulations here and different instruments have different articulations sections have different articulations individual instruments will often have more articulations right whether strings or horns so if i put in some notes like that i pencil i penciled in all these notes while the articulation was set to expressive short so therefore these notes have been given the articulation expressive short or i can switch them all to staccato okay we we change individuals or groups of notes articulation by selecting and choosing an articulation now let's look at those different articulations i have not figured out the rules yet there is a four bar long uh, note now some of these articulations last a certain amount of time and it's not relating to the tempo the default tempo is set at 120 that's the default tempo so if i choose sustain this is a simple articulation the note plays without an accented start just it comes on with a play like the, the string or the horn is hit and it plays that same loudness all the way through as long as the note lasts if you switch to staccato no matter how long the note is you just get short little staccato hit macato short a little and then it fades now it's it, it at the default tempo of 120 that lasted one beat but it's not fixed to tempo if i slow the tempo down to 80 it won't last one beat it, it lasts less so the timing may be related to a controller i haven't figured that out yet but let's just stick with what we know okay the basics so back to 120 for the tempo so your mikato short is a little blast that fades out right not a hard hit it's a soft and fades away Macato long just the same thing but longer expressive medium the note comes on with accent fades down fades back up with with expression and then fades back down in expression and cuts out with a lot drop off At the default tempo, it lasts approximately two bars. Expressive long. Does the same thing, and at the default tempo, 120, it lasts approximately four bars. Expressive short. Lasts half a bar at the default tempo, 120. Passionate. Little wobbly thing, and it ends after three beats roughly at the default tempo. But these are not fixed tempo. If I drop the tempo to 70, like that, you know, it, it doesn't last three beats at 70. Okay, so again, I'm going to look into that. There's a timing to these that may be able to be adjusted. I don't know. Full long falls down again at default tempo over roughly two beats or three beats full medium falls over two beats at the default tempo falls short 
falls over one beat at the tempo, default tempo. A doit, it will climb up, lasting approximately one, just over one beat at the default tempo of 120. Growl lasts as long as the note, no matter how long the note is. Shake lasts as long as the note, and scoop. La the note lasts as long as it lasts, but there's a little scoop up at the beginning, like that. Okay, that's the different types of articulation. I do have to look into if there's a relationship between expression and the length of those, um, of some of those articulations, or whether there's another controller for it. I haven't found it yet. But that's the types of articulation. So to build, so to build a pattern, we would, oops, wrong. Zoom to build a pattern. We'll, we'll make a little. Um, we'll make a little pattern like that. A velocity at this point. Forget velocity, right? Velocity, remember, on the instrument is not set to dynamics by CC. We're using average velocity of 80. Now I can switch all these to staccato, let's say. And then that, it, that ends with a little scoop. Or it could end with a little um, expressive short. Like that. Yeah? Easy. Now, in terms of the velocity, we're not using dynamics via CC, so velocity counts, right? So I make all these notes really soft. Okay, you get very, very soft from one up to it's about 20, 19, 18. 20, 21, 30, just getting a bit more loud, a bit more, more attack, 40, 50, it comes on a little bit more at 50, 60, a little bit more, 70, at 70 it switches to a little bit of a harsh, harder attack, a little bit more different tone, or edge, 80, a bit more, 90, 100, there's a switch there to quite a little bit stronger, 110, and full ball, 127. So the velocity affects the playing, obviously. The, 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 not just the loudness of the note, but how hard it's hit and how much edge it's got, softness or more um, edge, you know, more, more, I don't know what the word is, but more treble, more, you know, more hardness. Right? Right? Okay. Put that to 80. That's where we're using dynamics without CC. The note velocity, no, dynamics via CC is off. The note velocity is doing the dynamics, right? Um, so we've got different articulations. We can switch them for different notes, and we have different um, um, expression based on, by default, the dynamics, how the notes sound in terms of their attack, you know, their edge, their hardness, is is by default set to the note velocity. Now, with that alone, you can do some quite creative stuff. But um, one thing we do is we can switch the dynamics to CC, right? Now, if we open up this bottom thing here, we've got dynamic control here. Forget this bit over here. The vibrato is set to, mod to the modulation wheel by default, so we'll leave that. And you've got a different types of vibrato mode. It's set to normal by default. Then the dynamics controller, we've now got dynamics via CC, it's set to modulation. I'm going to switch that to number 11 expression. 
and then the dynamics control mode absolute means velocity will not be velocity of notes will be ignored the controller in this case 11 expression will control the dynamics of notes now these two velocity and controller catch and relative really hard to explain um, but basically it's best to either use straight CC control or have this off turn that off and just use note velocity right these you can experiment with them you know, catch it with relative what should happen well looking at the word relative logic should look between any CC that's drawn in for expression and the velocity of notes and work out the difference between them kind of thing make it relative between them yeah I could use whichever one it encounters first so if expression is going along well let's try it look let's we have an absolute this is what happens I bring in my controllers now there's some another weirdness here with what channel are these controllers going to be right I've opened this up and the channel one is the modulation is set to channel one there channel one modulation if we look at the track our MIDI channel here is set to all for this instrument right so if I choose expression it now right sometimes that will change to channel two but we're now using dynamics via CC we're using the expression control to do dynamics and it's set to controller absolute so I put in this that's low dynamics going up to high dynamics so these notes regardless of their velocity are going to go they're going to dynamically get louder like that okay but if I set this note here let's make it a very soft velocity and then we'll set this to catch come back so my expression goes up here getting louder and then there's no more node then it will encounter this note at a softer velocity and we're on catch let's see what happens velocity and control are working together on catch so it takes the last node for this climb up increases the velocity of these notes but then that node ends there's no node after it so it catches the next velocity uh, dynamic thing it gets which is the velocity of that note now if we change this to a relative this will disappear I've got to put it back again what happens now velocity comes or dynamics increases for these four notes but then it ends there and then just after that is the beginning of this note at a lower velocity same thing okay what if we bring this controller just after the start of that note same thing then let's switch to catch but now we've got the node here a loud dynamic after the start of that note with the velocity lower and it's ignoring this and again taking this so I can't see any difference between catch and relative or I haven't figured it out right what I do know is as long as well, we've got a node at the end no it makes no difference it's it's not it's catching this notes velocity it's it's increasing the velocity with the, the expression here for each of these notes or the loudness the, the dynamics right but it's catching the the um, the, the, velo the dynamics from the softness of that note after that bring this node before that note it's still ignoring it so I don't know and that's on catch relative no it's still ignoring it no come on go away move it after the note no so I can't see a difference between catch and relative right um, y 
you, you, I don't know. Maybe it's because there needs to be a note like this after that. They're very soft. And it still ignores the note here for louder dynamics on relative. On catch, again, it disappears. It's so annoying. No, it's, it's not doing it. It ignores the, the dynamics from the controller in catch or um, relative. So I don't really know what's going on. And let's, let's try putting these back to a louder velocity, but then it's 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 catching the it's it's using the dynamics to climb up these notes in 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 terms of making them louder and louder and louder then it ignores the dynamic controller here for that note and it goes back to having these at, at their natural playing and, and that doesn't seem to doesn't make any difference so I can't figure it out so it's best to just have it set to controller absolute that's what I find then the velocity of the notes is irrelevant we can do it all with the expression so a little bit louder at the start in fact let's go with a loud start then it drops down and then back up have it like that and then come up that drops right back down for that note mm. it's much easier to use the dynamic controller you can it's it's really good because you can have it's very easy to do D dynamic adjustments over a, a scale or a section of notes much easier than trying to you know if you did it with note velocity each of these would have to have an increasing note velocity or that would be louder then it would drop down to a lower velocity for that note then a bit more for that and a bit more for that climbing back up it's a lot easier to do it like this now one thing to note about these controllers the, the dynamic controller is there's a note, and we'll make it that long. If I set this to sustain, there's my dynamics over this note. Yeah, it, it controls the note along its length. I'm getting different dynamics along the length of the note from the controller. Right? Let's switch to expressive medium. It still does it. Let's switch to expressive long. It's still doing it. Passionate. It's still doing it. Macato. Yep, doing it. So it's working to control the dynamics on most of these types of articulated notes. Not just straight sustained notes. Right? Okay. So I like to use this rather than note velocity. It's much, much better. Okay, now let's look at. So look, uh, let me undo, 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 Bit of dynamics going on here and then from this point on the dynamics are all the same at about halfway 70. All 
right, let's have a little blast. That note there, oh, nice and loud. And then down. Oh, come on. Not quite that much. Now, we've got modulation and the, the vibrato, this controls the, wah, 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 the, you know, the vibrato of notes. And the vibrato mode is set to normal by default. Let's do some modulation. I choose modulation. Um, here we go. We can now put in modulation. Now, these staccato notes, it won't work on those really, I don't think. This is. Full bore. We get normal modulation across all the longer notes that are not staccato. So even these short notes get modulation. They're set to expressive short. They get the modulation. This note, if I said it's sustained, it gets the modulation. You know what I mean? Um, okay, so this modulation you can put it in any way you like. So we'll have it right down here, really low. Then for this note, we'll bring the modulation on so that it's vibrating, uh, vibratoing comes on in the last um, beat here. bit hard to hear but then for these we'll drop the modulation down and then we'll have it on for come on for this last note there strong it must be before the note right all right this note is set to expressive short let's set to expressive long uh, medium rather Right? Now, all of the vibrato that's taking place at the different amounts set by this controller are in normal mode. Now, we can quickly put the mode into our controller here by just changing it here to, say, slow. And then it switches. We get the controller. Put in one node, just one node, and now it's listed as one of your used controllers vibrato mode so we can start by having it normal so all the modulation which controls the amount of vibrato is going to be normal right meaning it wobbles at a normal speed but if i now go to um let's have this note let's have that with vibrato on um, across there, like that. I must put a note after that note. This node here can work straight across. It it occurs. This is bringing on the uh, vibrato here. It occurs before that note. This little node, and there's a node after the end of that note. Right, uh, but it's still our uh, mode is normal. Now we're going to switch it here to slow, just before that note. Well, the question is, did it work? Let's try it on fast. And I'm not sure I can hear a difference. <laughs> I had some trouble with this before I did, trust me. Um, let's go back to the amount of modulation and increase that. Put in an extra node before that note. There's a node after. 
Go back to the mode of vibration. Sound like fast to me, but let's make this one slow and then that one fast. Can't really hear if that's getting fast vibrato or a slowed vibrato or not. Let's bring that note to there, no to there, and make that note longer, and then move all this across. All right. So we should be able to hear that slow vibrato on that and the faster vibrato on that. Oh, but need to be a longer note. Let's make it a sustain note. Uh, and that a sustain note. This only gets the fast in the middle of the note. For some annoying reason. Is it because the modulation? Ah, because it's happening there. So the the fast only picks up on that node. So put a node in front of that note. Take that node out. So slow modulation from that node. Fast modulation from that node. Put a node after the end of the note. Right, faster modulation on that vibrato. Switch back to the mode. This is slow. Doesn't sound very slow to me. Perhaps I've got to put a node at the end. Definitely that's faster, but it still doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound like slow modulation to me. So do I need, I don't know, another node there and another node there, I don't know. Yeah, you see it switches to slow there, so I'm not sure what the rule is. It seems like it needs two nodes. Yeah. So, you know... I don't know why, but it needed an extra node in there to trigger this to do slow. Then that node triggers fast. Don't ask me why. Take that node out. And it's fast. Maybe it's the distance between that node and that node. Let's try changing it. No, still fast, but I'll put a node in there. Take that node out. Yeah, so just be careful with the positioning of nodes. Right? But you can see what I'm doing there. This is the amount of modulation, and we're changing the type of vibrato. Right, slow across here, fast across that note. And that's, to be honest, the best way to work. Right? Modulation, you can change the mode of your modulation and expression for the for the how how hard notes are played let's have this this one come on gentle not too yeah and then fade up and then come back down for this one a bit and fade up Lower. 
You know what I mean? So this adds a whole load more stuff on top of the articulations. Um, I'm going to set those two to staccato. Now this one, we'll change it to Macato Long. Oh, no, that's just killing the note, isn't it? Uh, expressive Long. And that one Expressive Short. Which dies at the end of the note. If I want it to last longer, I do expressive long. Yeah. That one, I'm going to do a scoop. You see what I mean? So you work with the articulation and the dynamics and it just gives you that all extra layer. Let's overla overlap those notes. Does it make any difference? Here to start that note where they don't overlap. Overlap. a little bit more attack at the beginning of that if they don't overlap. Um, yeah, so... That's the basis of using these articulations and controllers with the studio horns.